What's up guys? Welcome to All Matters Passion. I'm your host Cynthia Kite. It has been a whole minute and a half, but we thank God because we are here. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, but then we thank God that we are here, right? So welcome back guys. Um, This is so much fun. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen. This is just giving me away and this is my most favorite place in the whole house and my most favorite thing to do, my most favorite videos to shoot. So of course, uh, if you see me here, it's just obvious that I'm going to shoot a, a recipe and of course you've seen the title of the video So let's get started and just so you know, I missed you so much for all of you who have been asking ah, Kitty, where are you not uploading content? Where are our recipes? Where are our videos? This is me. I am back So buckle up and let's get started. So of course today we're going to make beef pilau um that deep brown sumptuous juicy delicious pilau uh, and with me here are my most basic ingredients so let's take a look wadao here we go so these are my basic ingredients uh where shall we start from okay let's start from here here are my onions okay they look a bit too much but then utamochakula ni vitungu and two of these let's see these are going to be used for making the kachumbari and these onions are for the kachumbari because obviously sorry my camera is playing tricks on me obviously when you when you use two onions basically you just have to use three tomatoes to balance it out and then we have garlic ginger faves my faves and some coriander here for the dania right moving on here's our rice for the pilau look for quality rice here i am using basmati rice amazing amazing quality here's our beef nicely boiled already boiled our beef stock I preserved this because I just feel like it adds zest and flavor to our meal. So, of course, I had to do that. But it's not mandatory. It's optional. And then now on to the ingredients. We have cinnamon sticks in Swahili known as dalasini. Beef, beef masala just to add on to the flavor of the food yeah and then of course salt for seasoning and flavor and our secret ingredient let me not lie pilau masala oh my god oh my god this is so great so so great i'm a black pepper girl by now you all know i put black pepper in everything and anything except tea and then we have beef cubes it's just my own preference i like flavor and then this known rice pilau cubes more flavor cumin spice it goes a long 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 way this right here is a gem i promise you and then of course mixed herbs you can never wrong you, you can never go wrong with this pardon me so yeah basically this is it this is me this is my kitchen right now just before we get started this is what i have right here so let's start Okay, guys, you have seen what we have here in stock. Uh, these are, are our ingredients for making pilau. So, of course, the first thing we're going to do is to chop up these onions. Um, that is usually my very first step. Chop up the onions, basically. Crush the ginger and garlic. Have those ready because those are the first things that I'm going to use, basically. So, let's start with the onions as everything else um figures itself out i just want to mention that as i chop up the onions as well i'm going to as well chop the tomatoes for the for the kachumbari um so that i can store it in the fridge it's always amazing when you have it chilled you know um it's not that delicious when it's room temperature but you can wake up a fridge for at least an hour or two before dinner time or before lunch time oh my god it will be such such a flavorful dish so yeah
our onions are all chopped up um, what I'm just gonna do is divide them take a small portion and slice them up more for the kachumbari because I like my kachumbari, my kachumbari not with big chunks of onions so let me just show you what we have there we go and I trust me these onions seem like they're a whole lot but they're just enough basically so our kachumbari we can we can just have this much right um, yeah I think this should be enough for the family so I'm just going to slice this up more and put it in salty warm water for about 30 minutes and then we move okay guys we're done with our kachumbari see how we are multitasking <laughs> So that's ready. Now what we just gotta do is begin the cooking, which is basically why we are here. So yeah, let's get that started. Our onions are ready. We just need to find the right size of the sufuria. Don't use a small size, especially when you're using quality rice, which rises eventually after it's done cooking. So find the perfect size of the sufuria and let's get cooking. So this is my sufuria. I've just turned on the cooker. Um, I think it's the perfect size considering we are a family of uh, five, six around, five, six. So this is perfect. I'm going to cook two large cups and I think this is perfect. So I'm just letting it heat up so that we can add our oil. As usual, we use fresh fry. So let's move. A quick one guys, when you're measuring the amount of cooking oil to use when you're cooking your pilau, don't be too stingy. Like don't be shy, add some more, add some more, okay? Add some more because utamuwa pilau, to be honest, ni pilau masala, onions and cooking oil. Just basically, so with those three, don't be too shy, don't be too shy with them. Having said that, let me show you just the perfect amount, okay? See what I'm talking about? See what I am talking about? Okay, it might look like it's so much, but trust me, this is just enough. And this is what you need. Our, our oil uh, is already heated up. It's time to add our onions. And here we go. Our onions are in. And um, I'm just going to splash some salt to, to help... Uh, to help brown the onions faster because when you add salt they become translucent and that's our goal here okay so that's it guys as the onions do their thing I just want to mention the secret of cooking deep brown or dark brown pilau when you want that deep brown color the secret lies when you're frying your onions just be patient. Patience is key and after they turn translucent and they begin to turn golden brown, turn the, the, the heat on low and then just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. At this point in time your beef is already in. Okay, I'm going way ahead of myself but I just want to explain that the secret to deep that brown pilau is here and I'm just going to show you how. So we're going to take our time with these onions. Hatuna haraka. Prashe kwapi. No pressure here. So having said that, just uh, let's be patient as they do their thing. Let's uh, crush our garlic and ginger. We have not put that yet immediately because when we do as early as now, it will go and it does not taste so good. So that's it. So it was a success. Here is our crushed ginger and garlic paste. Awesome. So let's check on our onions. Okay, there we go. Guys, just forgive my camera. I beg you, please. Uh, so, they've turned translucent. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh oh, uh oh. But they have turned translucent. So, that's good. We are now going to add our beef. Okay, don't be shocked why we're adding beef now. I'm just doing that because I want the meat to form a deep brown color and it can only do that when it's, uh, it joins the onions right now so that they brown together. And then after a minute or two, after now they have started becoming brown, now we can add our garlic and ginger paste because we don't want it to burn, okay? So let's do this. 
Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. And the beef is in. I know this is unconventional for most people, but just trust me on this. You just need to trust me. So, we're going to let that cook and brown. So, patience is key here. You just, we'll just keep turning and turning and turning and turning and then until we get basically our final product. Okay, guys, here is our beef and onions. As you can see, they have uh, begun to turn golden brown. I don't know whether you can see. Like, oh my god, I'm trying my best, but I don't know whether anything is clear here. Okay, let's try that angle. Uh huh. So they're turning golden brown, and this is the perfect time to add our garlic ginger paste. Garlic ginger paste in. We're just going to stir that into our beef and onions for flavor. I like the way the beef had already started uh, turning golden brown, so this is the most perfect time. Not even kidding, to add that. The oil and all, it looks a bit too much, but trust me when I say it's perfect. You'll see the end results, guys. You'll see. So let's just give that some time. All I'm going to keep doing is stirring and stirring and stirring. Okay, guys, so this is the state of our beef and onions. I like that they are already golden brown. So what we're going to do is to add viungo to via pilau, viungo to pardon me, via pilau, everything, all the spices that I showed you earlier, just to show you again. Everything here, you see all this from the beef masala to everything, to the beef cubes they're going in. So let me just do that and then we'll give it a stir. Just to mention before I forget, this spice right here, pilau masala, you're going to put it in a very generous amount. I don't mean like way half the bottle, but I'd say like three teaspoons, three full teaspoons. That would be enough depending on the amount of rice that you're cooking. But this one, usi, usi pime, kwa sababu hii, this is basically now what is going to give flavor to the pilau. So guys, here are all our ingredients. It's Wow, I, I, I honestly wish like I had a better quality camera phone because this is not doing justice to this meal. I mean, I wish you could see how amazing it looks. I honestly, honestly, honestly wish you could see. Now everything is coming. Uh, perfectly together so what I'm just going to do right now is to leave this to cook on its own until it's ready so guys we have come a long way we are basically three quarter done as our vingo vietu vinaiva because it's important to let the spices marinate with the beef and cook enough so my heat is basically on low oh my god i say basically so much but the heat is on low so what we're going to do right now is wash our rice um just to have it ready and boil water on an electric kettle it's important to do that just to have that ready quick tip don't add cold water to your pilau don't just boil water and if you don't have the electric kettle yeah just have hot water around you so that's what i'm going to do right now is i just let our ingredients cook so here is our wash rice guys and as you can see the electric kettle is uh, boiling our water so we're good to go Nasasa hapa kwa beef and onions and everything else. Oh, I love this. This is perfect. As in, I don't know whether you guys can see, but I love the color. I just love it. I absolutely, absolutely do. So what you're going to do is just, after a few, few seconds, we're going to add in our rice. So guys, I have just added in our basmati rice and stirred very nicely. So what I'm going to add now is our beef stock. 
beef stock in. Oh my god, this has mad, 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 mad flavor. And then we stir that around, of course. Of course, we stir that around nicely. And then I'm going to add two and a half cups of water. And then we let this cook. So hot water in. Our rice is already simmering. In fact, it just ended up adding two cups of water because I remembered the beef stock and the quantity that was. So, yeah. Our goal ni mchele itoke moja moja. And it looks amazing already, just as it is. So, yeah, we're going to let this cook. Um, after, like, three minutes, I'm going to turn the heat on low. Nifunike um, and we wait. So guys, we have come a long, long, long way, and now we are on to my best, best part, and that is the big, big reveal. Our meal is doing so great, I'm so proud of myself, and I'm sure you are gonna like it. So let's take a look. Okay, we're just going to take this lid off, slowly, slowly. <gasps> there we go, guys, there we go, there we go, oh my god. We did so well. Here's our pilau. At least it's not white. It's a good brownish color. Now we're just going to flip it and see if it's cooked. So I'm going to use a spatula. All right. Oh, I'm in love, guys. I'm in love. I'm in love. And it smells so good. It smells so, so good. Uh, it's a win. Damn, it's a win, it's a win. And on that note, let me see if everything combined well and if it's cooked. Sema <laughs> kufurahi. Let me tell you, cooking pilau is like cooking chapati. You never know how it's going to turn out. Like if it will disappoint you or bless your soul <laughs> until it's it's uh, it's done so our pilau came out pretty great i am so proud of what we have done so basically because i'm just like ah, we did it so what we're going to do now is, is just to dress our salad or oh, kachumbari in spanish i don't know it's uh, in each one in it, but some fancy fancy name so uh let me show you how it looks so he, here uh, is our kachumbari. I have just basically put the ingredients on top of each other. As you can remember, our onions were in warm, salty water to get rid of their bitter, tangy, uh, tangy taste. So yeah, onions at the bottom, tomatoes in the middle, coriander on top. We have two options of either uh, dressing it with vinegar or... Um, or uh, lemons and to just spice things up because it's you guys we're gonna use vinegar for today so let me fetch it so this is what we're going to use to dress our kachumbari if you don't have this just go to the normal lemon cut it squeeze it works perfectly but this is a great substitute so just one bottle top and we're done or one teaspoon guys here is our kachumbari ready juicy uh, this is heaven. <gasps> it's heaven and our pilau is ready. So it's serving time and tasting time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing <gasps> our precious, precious, beautiful, sumptuous, delicious, delicious meal. This is the final product. And I'm in love. I'm proud. It smells amazing. So let's taste and see. Come out to me. I'm it's a good meal. Stay with me. Stay with me. This is not good. Okay, that's better. So let's taste this food and see what we have been doing. Make sure you take a pinch of everything. It's the beef, the rice, the salad. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow, 
Wow. We did great, guys. Period. Period. We did super, super great. Thank you so much for tuning in on to today's video. Make sure you try out this recipe and subscribe right here. Until next time. Mwah.